Hi, welcome to Northwest Guitars. In this video we're going to show you how to build and fit a three-way Telecaster control plate. It's got standard three-way switching uh, which you find in most American standard Telecasters. There are a few different methods of wiring this. One method uses the standard American or Grigsby style switch and the other uses an import switch, both of which we sell on our website. Uh, the method we're going to be using today is uh, the method with the import switch. Uh, they both work the same way, they're just a different kind of switch. This one is a little bit cheaper, but it's metal in case, which means it doesn't get lots of dirt and fluff and stuff inside it. So it's probably a bit more reliable in actual fact than the more expensive Oak Grigsby's. And obviously because of the way the pins are designed, it's a slightly different wiring setup. So if you're not familiar with it, we'll show you how to do it. Okay, so here are all the parts we're going to be using for this particular build. Uh, we've got the three-way switch, we've got two pots and a capacitor. Uh, this is for a customer of ours, uh, it's a standard three-way switch. We're using our own standard pots which are in this case 500k and a 0 0.047 microfarad capacitor. As a rule if you're building a control plate for single coil pickups you would tend to use 250k pots and a 0 0.022 microfarad capacitor. If you are building a control plate uh, for a guitar with humbuckers then you would tend to use 500k pots and a 0 0.047 microfarad capacitor. Uh, as I said before, there are lots of different ways of wiring these. Uh, the way that we're going to do it is very, very simple. It shouldn't take more than about 10 minutes. It's quite simple to follow, um, and it, you know, it works exactly the same as uh, as any American standard Telecaster. So the first thing we want to do is build a control plate. I'm going to put the switch on first, and I like to have the switch with the back facing to the left, and with the the holes for the pots down at the bottom. Okay, so that's the basics done. Uh, both pots facing each other. I'm oh, slightly off, but that's okay. And the switch on there. Okay, next thing I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to use this little piece of equipment here just to keep everything steady while I'm working away. Uh, obviously, I don't want to scratch the control plate, so I'm just going to put a little bit of masking tape over the ends. Just like that. And then I can fit that on there. That's well, not going to get scratched at all. Next thing I want to do is fit the capacitor. The capacitor is going to go, the capacitor is going to go from the top lug of the volume pot to the middle lug of the tone pot. You can squeeze it in just like that. Very very simple. And the uh, I'm just going to make the edge touch the side of the pot just to earth that as well. And we can start to solder. Now, some people will tell you that you need to use a heat sink on either side of the uh, capacitor when you're soldering it. I've never found that to be the case. I mean, we've we've done hundreds of these and we've never had any problems with the capacitors uh, melting or being blown. So that shouldn't be too much of a problem, provided you're not, you're not spending 10 minutes soldering each joint. Uh, okay, so that is now soldered in all three points. Just have to be careful that there's no, you can see the excess wire just sticking out there. The last thing you want to do is for that to touch the, the tone pot. So we're just going to trim that off. Just like so. So that's done. Okay, the next thing we want to do is take a wire from the left hand side lug of the tone pot to the opposite lug on the volume pot as you can see there so for this I'm just using some single core wire um, which we also sell on our website it's 22 gauge uh, so pretty standard stuff just going to strip a little bit of, back, of that back Just tin that slightly. Just like that. And then blob of solder. And the volume in the tone pot. Just 
check the width of that. That should be fine. I'll just trim a little off there. He says. There we go. can go through the opposite, look on the opposite side. Then I need another piece of wire that's going to go from this particular lug, so attached to the one we've just soldered, and it's going to go to the centre of the switch. You'll notice that the switch, all the points are already connected where they should be, unlike the uh, American Oak Grigsby style one. So basically this wire, we're going to take that to the middle contacts. It can go to either one of those two, it doesn't matter because they're both connected. Okay. So again, just going to tin that wire slightly. And then there isn't enough room to slide both wires into the hole on the pot, so I'm just going to attach them this wire onto the top. Just like so. You can see that. There's a little bit of excess there, I can probably trim off. And then that is going to go right across to the centre. I'm going to leave a little bit of slack just so they're not making my life too difficult so like that so as I say that wire can go in either of those two lugs in the centre I'll fit in that one that's pretty much finished now so now we need the, uh, the other piece of wire that we have here which is a single core screened wire, I'll show you what that looks like when I strip some of that back so that's basically your single core in the middle and you've got this copper wire on the outside which is the screened part so this wire is great for wiring uh, the output jack socket, saves you having to have two wires you can just use one piece of wire now you can get this from electrical shops, it's quite easy to find. Okay, so stripped one end, you've got your long bare end, and then you've got the, the other piece in the middle. So I'm just going to tin those first. Like that. So I'm going to turn the whole plate round now, and we're going to fit these wires to the volume pot so the the white wire, the sheathed wire, is going to go to the middle lug on the volume pot and the, the larger wire, the bare one, is going to go to the back of the volume pot. Okay, so, firstly, the centre, and then this one is going to go onto the top like that. You don't need quite so much wire, so I'm going to Trim some of that off. There we go. Okay, so those are the two wires for the output socket. Okay, so now we've got the uh, the control plate built pretty much. We've got the wire there for the output jack, which we'll wire up later. We've got the two wires, the two ground wires from the neck and the bridge pickup, and the hot wires from the neck of the bridge pickup there. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to solder the two ground wires to the back of the volume pot. And these are my two uh, hot wires. Now this one is the neck pickup hot wire and that one goes, as you would probably expect, uh, to this side of the wire. Uh, you can see there are three lugs, two of which are connected the two N ones 
uh, are redundant on this particular wiring mod so you're just going to use one of those two there doesn't matter which one you use uh, you just need to connect the neck pickup to one of those so we're going to use this one and then we're going to attach the bridge pickup on the opposite side to those two lugs so again any one doesn't really matter which and there we go that's pretty much it I uh, just need to take the tape off either sides obviously we need to put the uh, the knobs on and the switch tip and stuff but that is pretty much it that just drops straight in it's pretty much done uh, with regards to wiring up the uh, output socket obviously you want to feed that wire through so that it comes out at the side there and then you've got two wires there now the sheathed wire if I can show you and I can find where I put it there we go so the sheath wire is going to connect to the lug that you see there on its own if you can see that that one there that's on its own and the other wire which was the originally the uh, the copper wire the bare wire that is your ground wire that goes to the lug that's connected to the center of the output socket as you can see there so basically you wire those two up and that's it that's the control plate done and that's it